third one in a triangle ABC A is obtuse A is obtuse if sin A equals to 3 by 5 and sin B equals to 5 by 13 then show that sin C equals to 16 by 65 16 by 65 this is very interesting problem here we have the different concepts and to be integrated in a triangle ABC means that A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees and A is obtuse is given A is obtuse means A is more than 90 degrees that means A lies in the second quadrant in a triangle the angle cannot exceed more than 180 one of the angles will be obtuse means other two angles are it is obviously so other two angles are acute itself only so that means B becomes acute angle so B lies in the first quadrant whereas angle A lies in the second quadrant as for the given data so that means now here solution in a triangle ABC here A is obtuse obtuse that implies A belongs to second quadrant second quadrant we have A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degrees so you leave it now sin A is equal to 3 by 5 sin A equals to 3 by 5 means we know that sin square A plus cos square A equals to 1 it is an identity so 9 by 25 plus cos square A 1 cos square A equals to 1 minus 9 by 25 which equal to 16 by 25 now cos a is equal to plus r minus 4 by 5 since a belongs to the second quadrant in second quadrant cos a is negative so we have to take cos a is equal to minus 4 by 5 so this is cos a now sin b here sin b is given 5 by 13 b belongs to first quadrant only because b is acute angle so here acute means directly we can do no problem say b this is right angle triangle 5 this will be 13 so 169 minus 25 is 144 12 we can write cos b 12 by 13 now we have to prove sin c is equal to 16 by 25 let us take a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degrees consider or already we have we have need not be considered already we have a plus b plus c is equal to 180 degrees c is equal to 180 degrees minus of a plus b now apply sine function 
on both sides on both sides let us apply the sign now sin c equals to sin of 180 degrees minus of a plus b what is sin of 180 minus theta now sin of 180 minus theta this is second quadrant sin theta so this is equal to sin of a plus b sin of a plus b is formula sin a cos b plus cos a sin b let us replace the respective values sin a 3 by 5 into cos b 12 by 13 12 by 13 plus cos a cos a is minus 4 by 5 into sin b what is sin b 5 by 13 so this is 36 by 65 minus 20 by 65 36 minus 20 16 16 by 65 see sin c is equal to 16 by 65 hence it is proved fourth one if sin of alpha plus beta by sin of alpha minus beta is equal to a plus b by a minus b then prove that then prove that a tan beta is equal to b tan alpha so this is also one of the interesting problems so this problem can be dealt using competendo and dividendo rule competendo and dividendo rule so let me explain what is competendo dividendo rule first after that so we we shall switch over to the our problem here see the discussion what is competendo dividendo let us equate two ratios say something p by q is equal to something x by y adding one both sides what do you get p by q plus 1 is equal to x by y plus 1 we get p plus q by q equal to x plus y by y this is called competendo they are equated if you had even subtract now so this is p by q minus 1 equals to x by y minus 1 p minus q by q equal to x minus y by y say 2 this is competendo this is competendo this is dividendo competendo and dividendo divide 1 by 2 if you divide 1 by 2 what becomes here q q cancel y y cancel we get p plus q by p minus q is equal to x plus y by x minus y this is called here after cd rule competendo dividendo rule okay have you understood this is called competendo dividendo rule so using this we have to apply on this problem so now let us come to the our problem given sin of alpha plus beta by sin of alpha minus beta equals to a plus b by a minus b say this is p by q this is x by y 
competent dividend is p plus q by p minus q is equal to x plus y by x minus y. Apply C D rule, C D rule, competent or dividend or rule. Sin of alpha plus beta plus sin of alpha minus beta by sin of alpha plus beta minus sin alpha minus beta equal to a plus b plus a minus b a plus b minus of a minus b minus a plus b sin of a plus b plus sin of a minus b just if you add those two formula what do you get 2 sin a cos b here 2 cos a sin b you will be getting so this can be written 2 sin alpha cos beta by turn cos come this side sin goes that side cos alpha sin beta b b a a 2 a by 2 b 2 2 cancel 2 2 cancel here sin alpha by cos alpha is tan alpha and whereas cos beta by sin beta is cot beta equal to a by b. Again cot beta can be written 1 by tan beta. Tan alpha into 1 by tan beta is equal to a by b. This is nothing but tan alpha by tan beta is equal to a by b. Now cross multiply. If you cross multiply what do you get now? a tan beta is equal to b tan alpha hence it is proved. 